Hey YouTube, this is Star Strike Duelist, and today we are going to be doing uh, a zombie death profile. Uh, my boss Jake, he ran zombies and went undefeated at our PS4 tournament, only using losing in top eight uh, due to drawing double uh, triple Mali, but you know that happens. And I want to show you guys zombies because zombies was one of my first uh, decks when I first started playing competitively, so I like the deck a lot, and I think it's actually a really good contender. Uh, so we're gonna show you his build. He's had great success with it, uh, not only today, uh, in other to major tournaments as well. Um, so we have two zombie masters, three gets kind of foggy, but it's one of your uh, main cards and to go into your combo plays, this card, special, another zombie. Uh, two, um, the thing is, like, about this card is that, like, even myself, like, I thought after you stop this, you know, like, they don't have plays, but, like, you just have infinite amount of plays, and it's just really good. Uh, two goblin zombies, one of the best floaters, in my opinion. Like, the fact that you can just keep poking, and if they get rid of it, you get to add something, it's just amazing. Uh, three Mizuki, this card is the nuts, like, it's like, it's like the best. <laughs> like, you guys already know what Mizuki does, and in fact, it's like a 1700 meter, and when it gets destroyed, you can, it's like, really versatile and great, and when you mill it, it's even better. Uh, three Mali, unfortunately, one of the reasons why Jake lost in top eight, but you know what happens, like, you, you really need to run it, like, it's just, it helps you go into a lot of nice plays, too. Um, other cards to play, uh, it's, it kind of sucks sometimes, I think, uh, with the top decking thing, I guess, that, but that only sucks, like, really, if you're in, like, a slow position where you only have, like, zero cards in hand or something, but, like, if you have multiple cards in hand and you're gonna combo off anyway, it really doesn't matter, and the fact that this is not only once per turn, uh, right, it's not once per turn, right, yeah, that's what he was telling me earlier, um, it's just great, so, Plague, uh, and this really combos off with Soul Charge plays, because if your effect doesn't go off, you just Soul Charge them back and go off after that. Uh, one Necro Face, uh, late game, it helps you recycle your Mallies, but early game, it kind of sucks. Uh, three Raiden. Uh, this is, was an interesting concept. At first I didn't like it, but then it's really good. Uh, when you don't have Kree Bandit, you summon this mill two, and during the phase you mill another two. Uh, it's a 1700 meter, and it's also a tuner. Like, it's just a great card. And it's a, it's a level four two, if you need to go into rank uh, XYZ. It's also really good with Soul Charge, too. Um, three Kree Bandits, uh, basically the better version of Raiden, uh, helps you get your key plays, his, um, helps you mill, milling is very important in this deck, you know, it's kind of like, I guess, a light swarm version of zombies, it's a turbo version, you know, because you need to be fast to keep up with the meta, um, and it also helps you pick a spell and trap, which means you can get, like, wing blasts, like, soul charges, like, anything, you know, um, and then we have three maxi, uh, just to help you keep up with all the fast decks like Sylvan, Light Sworn, Mermail. You know, there's so many things. And even in the matches where it's not that good, like Hat, uh, you can still manage to get one for ones with it. Um, so maxi is pretty good. Uh, one dad, the, the boss monster, like he's the best. Like it's that. Uh, going into spells run, one burial. Like honestly, when I use this card, I feel like I'm gonna win. Like it feels so bad because your opponent feels like they got rid of all your stuff and wasted all your resources, then you just burial them all back. Um, other burial, uh, two soul charge. This card is like amazing. Obviously, like you don't need to explain this, but it does get cloggy sometimes. Uh, believe it or not, uh, just those hands where you open up kind of bad and slow it just makes it kind of worse but like late game like you can get it going with things like that's why running multiple radians and Kree bandits really helps because it makes this live um and then double space uh, moving on to straps you run double need a bug another really good card uh triples a little bit uh too much but you know it helps get things going especially when your opponent blind spaces and you just chain it so triple wing blast uh jake's personal favorite card in the deck like he says when he draws this he feels like he's winning and i feel like it has the most energy with this deck because any monster that you discard, like any of the zombies and stuff, it's it's gonna do more in grave than it would in your hand. So like things like Mizuki, Plague, um, just like anything, like Mallies, you know, so like Wing Blast is like the best. Uh, two Breakthrough, one of the best traps right now in my opinion. It's the only thing that stops like Kree Band and stuff, you know, Phoenix doesn't stop those cards. Um, and Breakthrough is really good against things like Felgram, uh, really good against 101, just all that stuff. Uh, and then staples, warning, bottomless, trample, and compulse. Uh, moving on to the extra deck. Uh, reason why this deck is good is it can go into like a variety of large like amount of things. Uh, 101, Exciton, the bottom chain, uh, flagship, dweller, rhapsody, uh, Farland Draco, really good card, um, diamond dial. Uh, into the synchros, Void Over Dragon, uh, Revive King had us really good against the hands. I was playing against Jake and he shut me down because he went to this. Uh, Scrap Dragon, Blader, Stardust, Boyo, like the newest addition to the deck, uh, which is pretty cool. And we have Abuse. Uh, MVPs are definitely this card, probably. Also, uh, Void Over Dragon and Scrap, probably the MVPs in the deck. Um, but yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, 
Is there anything else you want to say, Jake? No. He's actually filming this right now. <laughs> yeah. So it's doing pretty well, so feel free to test it out and see how you like it. But yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Hey guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me, please check out my social networking websites as well as multi-monster deals for awesome coverage and articles. But anyway guys, I will see you later. Bye!